Uh, John Al Muhammad was brought into the death chamber about 8.58 p.m., escorted by a correctional officer on each side, one in the back. Uh, he was immediately, he, when, he, when he was brought in, he looked down at the ground, looked over at the gurney, but he appeared very calm. Um, they immediately got him onto the gurney and started strapping him down. There were six correctional officers, part of the execution team, who does all the executions here at, at Greensville Correctional Center. They strapped him down. That took a few minutes. Um, then, of course, they back away while one of the correctional officers checks all the leather and nylon straps that are get, you know, holding his legs, his chest, his arms in place. And then um, they, they pull the curtain while the technicians come and, and start two IVs. They do two just in case one, there's a problem with one, they'll have a backup. So that took a couple of minutes and then they pulled the curtain back and Muhammad was lying with his arms out to the side. The um, warden asked him, Mr. Muhammad, do you have any last words? They put the tape recorder there and Muhammad stared stoically at the ceiling, didn't blink and just let the moment pass. They stepped away. Uh, right at about 9.07 p.m., you could see the IV line start to move, which usually means they're administering the first of the three Doug cocktail. And at 9, well, right after that, he took about seven deep breaths, and then at 9.08, he was motionless. During the execution while he died, it was very quiet. Um, someone coughed. You could hear someone's stomach growl. It was very quiet. A little bit of shifting in the seats. Um, when they came out and pronounced him dead at 9-11 p.m., one of the, the citizen witnesses turned to the person to her right and said, interesting, and that was really the only word that was said.